Hey, welcome back. We all love using elemental forms, right? They're dead easy to use. You just add it in, you modify your field. You might want to upload images or forms or anything like that. You can even have a checkbox, select box, even a terms of conditions declaration box as well. There's loads of stuff you can add. But what about if you want to add in a step-by-step -step form? What do I mean by that? Well, you add in a few items and then you go to step two, which might be another form or it looks like another form. Add in a few more items and go to step three, add in a few more items. What's the benefit of that? Well, if you've got a form which has got about, say, 20 items that need to be completed, and you're saying to someone, complete all of them and then hit submit, it can feel like a bit of overkill. But if you break it up into like individual components, it's a little bit easier to do and people feel a little bit more relaxed about doing it. So let's have a look at how we do that. Hey, if you don't know me already, I'm Imran from Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe and follow us so you can keep up to date with how to get the best out of Elemental and WordPress for you, your clients and your business and your pet dog and cat as well. Because one day they will be creating websites. You mark my words, the future is here. So we're just going to go over to um, a page and we're just going to drag in a form. OK, the form just sits at the top. I'm not messing around with styling or anything like that. I'm just showing you how this works. I'm just going to make this section about uh, 800, just so it looks a bit better on the page there. Yeah. OK, so we've got a form. And as you know, with the form, you can go in and you can add some further items. So I've added another item. I'm going to get rid of message and I'm going to call this item. We will make it a, uh, a telephone box and we'll just put telephone like that. And we might put telephone here as well or telephone number or we'll add number. There we go. All right. I'm not messing around too much with the layout. Like I said, all the colors, just go with it. So let's pretend we've added on five or six fields. And now we want to go to step two. But well, what you want to do is down here underneath telephone, I'm going to click add item. But this item, rather than picking a field, OK, you'll see down here there is the option called step. And you click step and what that now does is it automatically adds item one to the top. So we didn't need to do it right at the start. We could have just done our form field and then we click step. Now item one or page one or component one or module one or step one. Those are three fields are step one. We now have the word submit at the bottom. The button has changed to next because you can't submit until you've done the final field. So we then have item one. We have item hashtag five because I've been messing around with step by step forms in other places. But don't worry about it being called item five. It is, in fact, item two. Now, we're going to leave item five or two as it is at the moment. And I'm going to add in an item underneath that. Item six over here, we're going to call, we're going to create, we'll just do another email field, all right, for the sake of it. We'll just call it email again. Play with your creativity and add in a proper field, okay? So then we've got another email field that has been added. Now, if I click next over here, one of the problems is that you won't see all of those fields and you have to go a little bit on faith at the moment. OK, I'm just going to go back over here and I'm going to call this number two. So sorry, let me explain that. If I go back into my step and I add in the number two, it adds in the number two underneath the number. You can see that there. If I was to now change this to say um, other details, OK, it's going to say other details. So underneath your number, you can have some further text if you want. It might be that you're pre-warning them that the next step is going to be upload forms. It might be add images, gallery images or stuff like that. It might be um, licenses, certificates. You know, just have a play around with what you're asking them to look at. Declaration, terms and conditions, things like that. Now, if I scroll down over here, we now have the step settings. And if I go down to step setting, it says, do you want to have number and text? Do you just want to have text? So it's going to be the text you enter. So you don't have to have numbers. Or are you going to have just the number? So you can have a think about what you want to do. The progress bar isn't a bad one when you've set your color scheme up. So what it will happen is if I go to style now and I go down to steps over here, OK, um, I'm going to set the back, the color of this. I'm going to set it to be a red color. And obviously change, you know, do your fonts and your styling and everything like that. In fact, we'll just do, we'll put percentage like, in fact, no, we'll do it as white so you can see it better. You know, do your typography, do your styling. So what will happen is as you go through the form, if we had three pages, 33%, 66%, 100%.
yeah, pretty self-explanatory at the moment. If we go back over to the field, the content, and we go to the form, if I just now start adding in items just for the sake of it, let's, in fact, let's just duplicate the email, email, email. Again, like I said, it doesn't actually show you all of those steps. So what I sometimes do is I literally get rid of the step. I've got step one and I'll get rid of the extra steps. So I can now see the items and the layout. Once I've got that, I will then go in, click here, click step. So this is now step two. I'll pick it up and I will drop it where I need it to go. So in effect, if I now click update and we view this page, okay, in preview, preview, here we have some content. I none. I don't think any of these were required. Yes, they were. Here, this field is required. Let's just put in uh, this email here. So you, you enter in your details, you click next, it's gone over to step two. Did you notice the bar at the top jumped to 100%? Because I've said just show the progress bar. We could have had buttons, we could have had text. We now have these items. We can go back, previous, next. And we can hit send when we get to the end. You can have as many steps as you want. Don't overkill it and do too many. But I hope this helps you understand step by step yeah, I didn't go into the styling. Yeah, I didn't do loads of fancy colors or layout or stuff like that. But this is how you do step by step. Dead, dead simple with elemental forms. Hey, like, subscribe, and I'll see you soon.